The metropolis glittered beneath the cosmic tapestry, a sprawling testament to human ingenuity and the remnants of Earth's tumultuous history. Captain Alex Mercer stood atop the observation deck, a lone figure silhouetted against the neon hues of the cityscape. His gaze fixed on the horizon, where the first glimmers of dawn sought to pierce the night's obsidian veil. In the year 2150, Earth had become a bastion of technological marvels, a crucible where the past and the future collided. The Earth Defense Force, an elite group of warriors and scholars, patrolled the skies, safeguarding humanity from the ever-present threat of extraterrestrial forces. Among them, Captain Mercer, with eyes that betrayed both the weight of responsibility and the resilience born of countless battles. His team, a diverse array of specialists, assembled in the briefing room beneath the observation deck. Lieutenant Kara Rodriguez, a brilliant astrophysicist, analyzed the latest data on alien activities. Sergeant Malik Chen, a seasoned veteran with cybernetic enhancements, ran simulations of possible scenarios. And finally, Lieutenant Emily Harper, a linguistics expert, deciphered the cryptic messages intercepted from the outer reaches of the galaxy. As the holographic display flickered to life, Mercer addressed his team, his voice resonating with the quiet authority that belied the storms raging within him. We've intercepted unusual signals originating from the Proxima Centauri system. It could be nothing, or it could be the precursor to a threat we've never faced before. We need to investigate. The room fell silent, the weight of the unspoken question hanging in the air. Mercer turned to the holographic map, fingers dancing over the controls to zoom in on the distant star system. This isn't just about protecting Earth. It's about understanding what's out there. We can't afford to be blindsided. As the team dispersed to prepare for the mission, Mercer lingered in the control room, his mind drifting back to a time when the stars were merely points of light in the night sky, before the galaxy became a battleground. He had witnessed the horrors of first contact, the clash of civilizations, and the sacrifices that came with defending his home. His thoughts were interrupted by the hum of the advanced spacecraft, the Phoenix, waiting on the launch pad. Mercer descended to the hangar, a cavernous chamber echoing with the metallic whispers of machines and the distant hum of city life. The Phoenix, sleek and formidable, awaited its crew, bathed in the soft glow of pre-flight checks. As Mercer stepped onto the bridge, the crew assumed their stations. Rodriguez at the navigation console, Chin overseeing the ship's systems, and Harper by the communication array. The familiar hum of the ship resonated through the deck as the Phoenix ascended into the boundless expanse beyond Earth's atmosphere. The journey to Proxima Centauri unfolded in a cascade of starlight, the ship hurtling through the cosmic void. Mercer stood at the observation deck, his eyes fixated on the celestial ballet, lost in the vastness of space. It was a journey both physical and metaphysical, a pilgrimage to the unknown. Days passed in the silent solitude of interstellar travel. The crew moved with a quiet efficiency, their eyes reflecting the uncertainty of the mission ahead. Mercer immersed himself in the ship's data, studying every scrap of information on the signals that beckoned them toward an alien frontier. As the Phoenix approached the Proxima Centauri system, the once distant stars took shape, forming a cosmic tapestry of uncharted potential. Mercer gathered his team on the bridge, their faces bathed in the eerie glow of the starlight filtering through the viewport. We're entering the unknown, Mercer announced, his voice steady. Stay vigilant, trust your instincts, and remember why we're here. We're explorers as much as defenders. Let's find the source of those signals and, if needed, establish contact. The phoenix descended into the gravitational embrace of an alien world, its surface a mosaic of unknown landscapes. The crew held their breath as the ship's scanners danced across the surface, searching for anomalies. The air hummed with anticipation, a symphony of tension and excitement. As the ship entered the atmosphere, the signals intensified. Strange symbols flickered across the communication array, a cosmic dance of coded messages. Harper furrowed her brow, deciphering the alien language with a skill that transcended the barriers of spoken words. Captain, she spoke, her voice laced with a mix of awe and concern, these signals, they're a greeting. 
It's as if they expected us. Mercer's eyes narrowed, a storm of thoughts raging behind his gaze. The unexpected familiarity of the alien welcome sent shivers down his spine. The phoenix descended to the surface, and the crew braced for whatever awaited them on this alien world. As the hatch opened, revealing the uncharted landscape beyond, Mercer took a deep breath. The air, alien yet strangely familiar, carried the weight of possibilities. The crew stepped onto the surface, their boots crunching on foreign soil. The story had just begun, and the choices made on this alien world would shape the destiny of both humanity and the enigmatic forces awaiting in the cosmic abyss. The alien terrain unfolded before them, a surreal landscape that seemed to defy the laws of Earth. Strange flora adorned the horizon, their bioluminescent hues casting an ethereal glow. Mercer led his team through the alien wilderness, the air thick with anticipation and the echoes of unseen creatures. The signals guided them to a colossal structure, an otherworldly edifice that rose like a monolith against the alien sky. Its architecture defied human comprehension, a fusion of organic curves and crystalline facets. As the crew approached, the structure responded, unfolding like a celestial blossom, revealing an entrance bathed in an iridescent glow. The air buzzed with energy as the team entered the alien sanctuary. The interior, a symphony of harmonious design, seemed to adapt to their presence. Mercer's eyes scanned the surroundings, alert to every detail. Ancient glyphs adorned the walls, telling a story of a civilization that had witnessed the eons. In the heart of the structure, a chamber pulsated with a mysterious energy. At its center lay the source of the signals, an extraterrestrial artifact, suspended in a field of shimmering light. It emanated a hum that resonated with the very essence of the cosmos. Rodriguez, the astrophysicist, approached the artifact, her eyes reflecting a blend of scientific curiosity and trepidation. Captain, this. This is beyond anything we've encountered. It's as if it holds the knowledge of the universe itself. As the crew marveled at the cosmic enigma before them, a presence materialized, Zara Khan, the alien warlord. His form, a blend of celestial radiance and ominous shadows, commanded attention. Mercer's hand instinctively reached for the sidearm at his hip, but he held his ground, recognizing the delicate balance that hung in the cosmic balance. Greetings, Captain Mercer of Earth, Zara Khan spoke, his voice resonating with an otherworldly timbre. I am Zara Khan, keeper of the celestial nexus. I bear no ill will towards your kind. We have observed your struggles and sought your presence. The revelation hung in the air like a cosmic revelation. The artifact, the celestial nexus, held the key to a convergence of destinies. Zarakhan explained the ancient conflict that spanned galaxies, the Ian's old vendetta between his people and a malevolent force that threatened to consume all existence. Mercer listened, torn between the duty to defend Earth and the realization that this encounter transcended the boundaries of interstellar warfare. The artifact, a bridge between worlds, held the potential for unity or cataclysm. As Zara Khan extended an olive branch, proposing an alliance against the common cosmic adversary, Mercer grappled with the weight of his resolve. The Phoenix crew exchanged glances, their eyes reflecting the complexity of the choices ahead. I've seen the cost of war, Mercer finally spoke, his voice carrying the echoes of battles fought and lost. If this alliance can prevent the annihilation of worlds, then we stand together. But know this, Zara Khan, Earth will not bow to any force, be it human or alien. We fight for our home and the fragile threads that bind us all. The alien warlord nodded in acknowledgement, the truce sealed by the shared understanding of the cosmic peril they faced. The celestial nexus, once a source of enigmatic signals, now pulsed with a unified energy, a beacon of hope in the vastness of space. As the crew prepared to return to Earth, the phoenix ascending into the alien sky, Mercer lingered in the celestial chamber. His eyes met Zara Khan's, a silent understanding passing between them. The journey ahead held challenges unforeseen, but in the dance of stars and the convergence of destinies, the echoes of unity resonated across the cosmic expanse. 
the alien world faded into the cosmic backdrop as the phoenix soared through the interstellar gateway. Earth awaited, its future entwined with the enigmatic forces that lurked beyond the celestial veil.